Hi everyone, this is Cooking with Kurt. Today, my husband Donald and I are going to show you how to make shopao bola bola. These are steamed buns stuffed with a ground pork filling, as well as salted duck egg and Chinese sausage. This recipe was requested by Dana Johnson and Christina B. Sanchez. Thanks so much for your requests, and we hope you like this video. To start, we're going to make the dough. Take the bowl of your stand mixer. Add one cup of lukewarm water. We just used warm water from the tap. The temperature should be around 105 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Then sprinkle one teaspoon of active dry yeast and whisk until the yeast has dissolved into the water. Add in five tablespoons of granulated sugar and whisk this in till dissolved. Then finally add in one fourth cup of vegetable oil and mix it in. Take a separate mixing bowl and a sieve Add in two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of cornstarch. Sift them together. Add this mixture of dry ingredients into the yeast water mixture. Using your hands, gently combine the wet and dry ingredients so that all the dry ingredients are moistened. Fit the mixer with a dough hook attachment and turn on to the very lowest setting on your mixer. This is the stir setting on our stand mixer. Continue mixing until the dough is smooth, which will take about 10 minutes. If you're kneading this dough by hand, it usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes of manual kneading. It's been a while since we've done that. Thank you mom and dad for gifting us this amazing stand mixer a few years ago. After 10 minutes, the dough should not be sticking to the bottom or the sides of the bowl. When the dough has come together, it should look smooth. Turn off the mixer. Leaving the bowl still attached with a dough hook, Cover the dough with a damp cloth or plastic wrap and let it rest at room temperature for two hours. While we're waiting for the dough to rest, we're going to make the bola bola filling. In a medium sized mixing bowl, add in one cup, which is about half a pound of ground pork, one fourth cup of pickle relish, two cloves of minced garlic, one egg, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one fourth cup of yellow onions minced, one fourth cup of scallions minced, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Mix this together with your hands until the bola bola mixture is well combined. Line a sheet pan with parchment paper and divide the filling mixture into 12 equal portions onto the parchment paper. Redistribute the mixture as needed and form them into balls. Set this aside in the fridge for now. This filling mixture for Chopao Bola Bola is similar to embutido or the filling for our chicken galantina recipe, which is also on our website. It's a type of force meat, meaning a mixture of ground meat and minced vegetables used as a stuffing. Thank you for clarifying the word force meat because wow. several viewers, myself included, kept hearing force meat in our chicken galantina video. <laughs> yes, so it's force meat with an F as in Frank. Um, derived from the French word farcir, meaning to stuff. Very cool. Now that the force meat is ready, take two Chinese sausages and cut them into 12 pieces total. Or in other words, cut each sausage link into six pieces. These sausages are 40 grams per link, about 80 grams total. Then peel three salted duck eggs and quarter each egg to make a total of 12 pieces of salted egg. When the dough has rested for two hours, Remove the plastic wrap and sprinkle two and a half teaspoons of baking powder over the dough. Turn the mixer with the hook attachment back on to the very lowest speed. Let it mix for about three minutes or until the baking powder is mixed in and the dough looks smooth again. Recover with a damp cloth. Now that the baking powder is incorporated, we're going to rest the dough again for another 20 minutes. In the meantime, cut 12 three by three inch squares of parchment paper and set them aside. These will be used for steaming the buns. After the baking powder has been added and the dough has rested for 20 minutes, we're ready to assemble the buns. Turn the dough onto a smooth, clean surface, roll it into a long tube, and divide it into 12 approximately equal pieces, estimating by eye and weight in your hands. Form the dough into tight spheres by rolling each piece in your palms with cupped hands. Do this for all 12 pieces. This ensures that there are no air bubbles in the dough. Then set them aside to rest under a damp cloth to prevent them from drying out. 
Then take one sphere at a time and use a rolling pin to flatten each sphere into a circular disc shape that's about 4 inches in diameter. The thickness of the dough should taper towards the edges of the circle, so the disc should be thicker in the center and thinner around the edges. Add one portion of the bola bola forcemeat filling, which we had previously divided, in the center of the circle. Put one piece of salted egg and one piece of Chinese sausage on top of the filling. Fold the dough disc together by bringing the opposite sides of the circle together and then pinching the closed circle together tightly, then twisting the top to ensure the bun is sealed. Invert the bun, placing it seam side down on one of the 3 by 3 inch squares of parchment paper, and shape it with your hands as necessary to create a more even circular shape. Repeat this with the other 11 pieces of dough, creating 4 inch discs with tapered edges, using the remaining portions of filling, closing the circle, sealing it, and inverting onto a parchment paper square. Cover the formed buns with plastic wrap or a damp cloth as you're forming the remaining buns to prevent the formed buns from drying out. When you're ready to steam the buns, fill the steamer pot about one fourth of the way up with water and add two tablespoons of white vinegar to the water. Bring it to a boil on medium-high heat. The vinegar helps to create whiter looking buns when they are cooked. When the water is boiling and the steamer is preheated, turn down the heat to medium-low. Brush the buns you're about to steam with some water immediately before adding them to the steamer. Brushing with some water helps the buns maintain a smooth surface during steaming. Place them in the steamer and close the lid. We're going to steam the buns over medium-low heat for 15 minutes for each batch. Do not open the lid during that time. When the buns are done, carefully remove them from the steamer and let them rest. Keep in mind to have a minimum of 1 inch between the buns and half an inch from the walls of the steamer as they will expand while steaming. This steamer only fits 2 buns per batch, so we're steaming our buns in 6 batches. You can store uncooked formed buns in the freezer in an airtight container. Cook frozen buns in the same way we described before, with about 5 minutes extra steaming time for a total of 20 minutes. Leftover cooked buns should be stored in an airtight container and will keep in the fridge for up to 5 days and in the freezer for up to 2 months. To reheat, put them in a steamer on medium-low heat for 15 minutes. And there it is. Shopao Bola Bola. Steamed buns with ground pork filling, salted duck egg, and Chinese sausage. Ang sarap. Mmm, sarap. yum. So good. I love this version of shopao because of all the veggies. Me too. And the salted duck egg and the Chinese sausage give it more filling. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comment section below if you're planning to make this shopao bola bola. Send us pictures of your dishes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, links below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Cooking with Kurt. And don't forget to click on the bell so you get notified when we post new cooking videos. And for those written recipes, be sure to check out cookingwithkurt.com. Maraming salamat!